Okay, we need a blue flame, and there's a couple of blue flames. What we also need is to be able to actually get onto this side. So we need to actually turn this guy without falling, because otherwise we'll lose the flame, and we don't want that. Right, so we go up here. And I can't, uh, I'm trying to think how you would actually go about doing this, because as far as I'm aware... You need to climb up that, but there's no way of actually getting up there without losing the flame. Oh, I mean, or you could just, you know, do this. <laughs> that works as well. I, I, I don't know why I didn't think that, yeah, that, that works as well. It works just as well, if not better. Um, what did I do? Oh. Yeah, I'm using a torch in fire. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. That does make sense. Right, now we need... Yeah, so now it's just a case of rolling the ball down into the um, other area. So this, the ball should start rolling. There we go. He's rolling down there. Look at the, oh, What the hell? There's another one? Where's the other one? He came from over here, so... Is it on his face? Where did he come from? There's no other things that... I'm bare confused. What is happening here? There's another one down there. Am I... Have I just missed one entirely? I think I've just missed one entirely. I'm not 100% sure. Now... We put it back the other way. And it should... Like so... Start to fall down. We'll race it. Well, there's another chest there. I didn't see that. Ow! Ow! Right, we just got to lift that up. And it will just fall in. Oh, look, and there's the door. Uh, oh, no, that's just the door for the shrine. Oh, well. Well, that is, that is all the... Um, terminals. That's all the terminals. Uh, t terminals. Actually, no, that's the right word. What am I saying? That is, that's the word I was looking for. Cool. All right, now we'll do the main control unit and uh, fight the boss. So this one actually took me a little bit of time. Generally because I was being a complete idiot. Yeah, I was genuinely being a complete idiot while facing this guy. Um, I mean, I said that Ruta was pretty... Or the, the, the water blight uh, for Ruta was pretty easy. Um, and I... Yeah, I stay by that, to be honest. There was no chest up here. That's why I'm just doing this. I want to get that quick. Um, and, and and Water Blight, you know, was pretty easy. Uh, we absolutely demolished uh, that. Uh, we can't really do the exact same thing with uh, Fire Blight. Because I can't use all of the Phantom Armor. I've got to be wearing this... Oh, it's another it's a nice bow. Oh, yeah, one of them broke, so you know, I don't mind taking that. Um, we can't use all of the phantom armor. I could gulp down another fire potion so I can wear another piece of the armor, uh, which is what I might actually do. Uh, before that, though, I am going to save because other because if we do die, I don't want to have to lose progress and, and whatever. I'm going to lose progress regardless. The only thing that will really happen is my death count will increase. Because you can start the fight again whenever you want, so that's really that's not a concern. Um, right, it's over here. Just gotta be, you just gotta be careful with the the holes in the ground. Actually, I think they cover up again, so I don't think that's an issue. Right, let's just get ready. What do we want? We want uh, the vicious sickle. Yes, the bow. We'll switch out for a Lionel bow. We'll use a line, and we'll put ice arrows on. I don't know if they do any more damage to him, but we'll see. Uh, and we will do that. Yes, I know I'm on fire, but we will put on a, another fireproof Alexa. That, and we also, it also means we wouldn't have used up the fire, the, the fire Alexa. So, 
Uh, yes, it is temporary, so. Right. Here we go. Uh, th boss against uh, Fire Blight. So, once again, here we go. I don't know if each of, or if uh, any of the water, or any of the blights have higher defense or attack compared to the other ones. Um, I know in general, uh, Thunder Blight is the fastest. Technically speaking, Water Blight has the longest reach. Uh, Wind Blight's just weird. And then Fire Blight, I assume, just hits like a tank. Then again, Thunder Blight does, so then... Yep. I even did the... Okay, right, this is a Thunder Blight. So, uh, I, I'm just going to go around for a bit. I don't really... Oh my god. I don't really want to just straight attack him for the time being, purely because I know that he regens health. Right. Okay. I don't have any um, big, big weapons like last time. I will use the... Yeah, I'll use the Stone Smasher because it does more and hopefully should hit somewhat good. Okay, right, he hits fairly hard. I do... Right, let me just check. Uh, uh -huh, Great, I should have waited for Mifa's Grace. Three minutes, okay. If I survive for three minutes, I should be good. Do I have a fairy? The answer is no. <laughs> I think I can take another hit. Um, I don't really want to use my... Okay, I'll use a fish. I should survive another hit. Whoa, okay. Do you know, I'll just keep hitting you with fire arrows then. Oh, you cheat. He's going behind the thing, so he can't... Right. Okay, right, second phase. This was the phase that initially screwed me over because I had no idea of what I was doing. He sets his thing on fire and he suddenly becomes invincible. Really? I had no idea. But it turns out he's just exactly the same as uh, an Octorok. You just throw a bomb and uh, just blow him up. Uh, right. Damn. Okay. If I can do that a couple times, should be good. See, he doesn't go on the ground. He floats up in the air, which is so irritating. I got him again. He didn't hit him. Ah! See, the longer he stays out there, the more time he has to actually start regenerating health. Okay. Go, just get him! Hey, we did it! Woo! Didn't even need Mifa's grace. Yeah, so he's a bit of a hard hitter, but to be honest, um, having a Lionel bow helps. <laughs> um, obviously, that 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 took longer than um, the last boss we did, uh, only slightly, I think. But we didn't like. To be fair, we were using all the phantom armor, uh, as well as having a cycle thing that does 50 damage, as well as um, the guy being on the floor when we hit him, so we could just keep hitting him. I didn't, I couldn't do that with him because he was flying, so I just had to keep hitting him with arrows. So luckily we had a bunch of arrow, uh, ice arrows to do more damage to him. Again, I didn't try it with regular arrows there, so I don't know if they did any more damage than reg than regular arrows or any of the other ones for that matter. Here we go, another heart container, and with that takes our total into double digits. We have as many hearts as we have deaths now, which is nice. 
Once you activate the main control, you will not be able, you will not be able to uh, to re-enter the interior of the Divine Beast. Would you start to activate? Yes. Uh, the only thing I can think of that's still in there is the Great Flame. Um, one of the Great Flame Swords, which I've already got one anyway, a new one at that. Um, there was a club in there. Um, that's about it I, I can think of, so I don't think there's anything real interesting in there. This is Daruk the Goron Champion. As I said, I, I skipped the cutscene uh, last time when I didn't need to, because technically I have i don't get monetization anymore, so it's a map. So let's have a uh, listen of this. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect High Moon when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. Yeah, you're not the only one, so it's it's all right. If you were the only one, then maybe, but is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon B-town plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down. <laughs> Look at his little feet. His feet are so small. What is? How on earth do those legs like hold up that body? That makes no sense. We're gonna light that thing up. Yeah. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's protection. I mean, you could have given me these, you know, when before the battles, but no. Um. So this is a, a useful ability. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. But its cooldown is so long that it's almost kind of pointless. Effectively, it means that when I am holding shield, I am invincible. It's it's the same thing that Yonobu was using. Um, and that has three charges. Uh, so it means that I am completely invulnerable to everything, I think. Um, it also reflects guardian uh, strikes, which is good. It's just it, because it only it only lasts. You've got three times you can do it before it breaks, um, and then after that, it's got a cooldown of like twenty minutes or something. I mean, it, I think it's almost as long as Mifa's Grace. I'm not a hundred percent sure, so it is a little bit like, oh, okay, you're gonna, yeah. So, um, but it is useful, and at risk of spoiling things, um. The DLC, once you beat the DLC like things for each of the four areas again, uh, the cooldowns for each of the uh, each of the champion's abilities is reduced by I'd like to say 50% or it might even be more than that, uh, which definitely helps, uh, especially in the case of um, of uh, the go of uh, Daruk's protection. So this uh, cutscene is a little bit shorter because he has less of a travel. Oh look, you know, Booze, he's there. He's just kind of like, oh my god, what's happening? His whole face just opens up. And there we have a second laser. Yeah. So orig originally, I thought um, when I, when I first was playing these, because I did Ruta first, I thought that that laser was actually doing damage, and I thought that like uh, going into the castle, you needed all four of these divine beasts uh, in order to kind of almost like break a shield of of, of some sort. Uh, but obviously, when when I when I went in there uh, and di and did the boss, that that wasn't the case. Uh, there's a separate cutscene which actually shows them firing. Uh, that's just their guising thing, like the Guardians do. Oh, look! It's a reunion! Hey, look at that. Still going strong indeed. Oh, that would be... Look at that. The father and son. That is the relationship, right? I'm pretty... yeah. Look at that. He's even got his little blue scarf. Touching the heart, it's just, that's cool. There isn't like that with anything with Mifa. Like, Mifa doesn't see side on. Um, and I don't think any of the other beasts. I think that's the, that's the only time where where someone else sees the spirit. 
as far as I'm aware. Yeah, but then again, that's not the only time where the champion has a son slash daughter or sibling, not sibling, a uh, child. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, the Gor, uh, the Gor, uh, the Gerudo one does too. Uh, so Daruk's protection and protective power are containing the perfect defense of the champion Daruk. Uh, it will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you are holding ZL. So when I go up to shield, boom, I've got this dope looking shield like there. Uh, and that works for three uh, things, and then it has a pretty lengthy cooldown. I might test it quickly just to see how much... Oh, you know who's here. Might test it quickly just to see uh, how long the cooldown actually is, uh, but um, we'll go on that. So anyway, you know who? Hey, brother, thank you so much for appeasing Rud uh, Rudania. Uh, I, d I don't exactly know what you were doing in Rudania, but, well, it seemed to have calmed down. You know, while I was there, I could have sworn I saw Lord, Lord Daruk. Is it Lord Daruk? I don't think it was Lord Daruk. Uh, standing on top of Rudania. Uh, I wonder, was that his ghost? Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now, of course. Oh, that's right. Uh, I talked to the boss about you, and he, and he, and he said to bring you to him. Uh, in order that the boss can't refuse, move it. Goro. Alright, I'm coming. Alright. <sighs> I mean... Uh, do I stop by in the shop? I don't think I have any big ores. No, I've only got opal and... I've got a ruby. Nah, I'll have a big, like, um... Uh, a selling spree when I particularly... Oh, I should have got that fire thing! Anyway. Hmm, hey, it's you. You know who told me everything? You really are something else, brother. You know that. I can't believe you conquered Rudania. Colour me impressed. You spelt colour wrong, but we'll forgive you for now. Uh, but good grief. Uh, did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? I was already and raring to go at Rudania myself. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that. Me. He did that himself. Oh, and I'm also happy to see you know we finally got his act together. I know that. I know that's your doing as well. Uh, but but enough passing. Uh, and another it's, what patting and other such nonsense. Uh, take a look at this. Yeah, I caused that. I know. Uh, the divine beast Varudania has calmed down and returned to its peaceful ways. Yeah, very peaceful. Firing a laser at the castle. Peaceful as as you want. Uh, now we can go back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. Uh, all right, I still got to thank you, brother. Uh, there's some treasure in my house. Grab it, keep it. It's yours. Uh, it's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. It's not really sharp, though. However, uh, as you're hiding, you're probably already had. But apparently, uh, 100 years ago, the Hylian champion oh, uh, uh, had a legendary blade. Uh, the sword that seals the darkness. They say that sword sleeps in a forest somewhere, waiting. I'd bet you'd like to find it, huh? You should go look in. So yeah, that is the Divine Beast Var the Varudania done. Um, so yeah, uh, that is the Yoron Knight kind of quest done. And yes, there is a uh, chest here. And this is the Boulder Breaker. It isn't actually that sharp, I'm not going to lie. And I actually need to drop something in order to get it. I don't need the... What the hell? Don't need the torch. I'm going to burn in this rope. The Boulder Breaker, so once again, I'm going to go put that in the house. Yeah, so let's uh, go away from that. And yeah, so that's that. He's going back in there because it's it's night and it's bedtime. So we're going to go put that in our house uh, just as a memento for clearing this area. It is a good weapon. Uh, actually, actually, to be fair, that, that is actually quite sharp. But I don't really want to get hit by that. Uh, it does do 60 damage, so it is a very good weapon. Uh, but at the same time, I don't really want to have it break. So for the final for the final boss, I might have it with me just so I can use it. That's oh, actually, I might do that once I've got them. I I I use all the weapons for the final boss. Might do that. That could be a good thing. But for now, uh, we're going to end it there because this episode has gone on a little longer uh, than I wanted to. Uh, I was talking about some stuff, but I can't remember. So I'll have a look back. Uh, in uh, when doing the editing and for the next episode I'll hopefully continue about what I was talking about so uh, thank you for that uh, stay tuned for the next episode don't really know where we're going to be heading off to next 
Uh, oh, the Master Sword. I think I was talking about the Master Sword. We'll probably go to this tower here. There's the... Oh, God. There's a tower there. And we might go into a certain area over here. Unlock a couple things you never know. Uh, so, yeah. Stay tuned for that.